Let's see another very simple question. It's so easy. You're going to answer it on your own. There's nothing great. You've already learned it in the basics. If triangle ABC congruent to triangle FED, see there, they have given the names of the two triangles with the congruent symbol in between. That means we know one thing that these two triangles are congruent and the correspondence is also mentioned. And further, they have verified and confirmed it again that under the correspondence ABC corresponds to FED. That means vertex A corresponds to vertex F, vertex B corresponds to vertex E and vertex C corresponds to vertex D. Right? Even if this is not given, from that we understand it. Right? Write all the corresponding parts, corresponding congruent parts of the triangles. That means C, P, C, T, corresponding parts of congruent triangle. That is what we need to write. And we have already learned it. What is given to us? We have triangle ABC congruent to triangle FED. That is given. And that is the correspondence. Remember, A corresponds to F, B corresponds to E, C corresponds to D. Right? So, now from this, can we write C, P, C, T? Because we have already learned triangles congruent. That means their corresponding parts are equal. So, let us write it. Let us first write the sides, which we know, corresponding sides. We know. Do we require the figure? No, I said from this we can pick up, right? If we are taking, talking about side AB, its corresponding is, yes, it is FE or we say EF, right? Look here, BC, the second and the third, so look here, second and the third is ED. So, we get segment BC equal to segment ED. Look at the third, AC, the first and the third, here also the first and the third. So, we get AC is equal to FD. The bar above denotes the segment, so we have this. These are the corresponding sides. Same way we have corresponding angles. That is also so easy. Now we can write that, right? Beautiful. So for A, which is the corresponding angle? It is F. So angle A is equal to angle F. Same way angle B is equal to angle E. And angle C is equal to angle D. And that is what we got. Wasn't that easy? So we wrote down the corresponding congruent parts of the triangles. 